Hi and welcome to my Python YouTube channel. It's awesome to have you here. If you like this video, a thumbs up would be great. And make sure to subscribe for future videos. I also have a blog at prospercoder.com with lots of cool stuff, so feel free to check it out. In the previous part of the Panda 3D series, we were talking about the Blender GUI. Today we'll be talking about basic operations in Blender, like selecting and deselecting objects, adding and deleting objects, as well as viewing the object from different angles. Let's start by selecting and deselecting objects. To select an object, just left-click on it in the 3D viewport or in the outliner. It will then become the active object, which you can tell by the color. So for now, the cube is the active object which is selected here and here you can see a different color. Now let's click on the camera to select it. This is the camera. Now the color has changed here and in the outliner, which means the camera is selected and is the active object. Now click anywhere in the empty space between the objects. This will deselect all. If you want to select multiple objects, just hold down Shift and select the objects one by one. So all selected objects will be highlighted, will be dark orange, but only the last selected object will become the active object, light orange. So go ahead and select the light here, then hold down Shift and click on the cube to select the cube. And again, hold down Shift and select the camera. If you want to deselect one object, also hold down the Shift key and left click on the object again. You can do it in either editor, the 3D viewport or in the outliner. So let's deselect the camera. Hold down Shift, click. The camera has been deselected here and here you can see the color has changed. Let's select it again. Now if multiple objects are selected like here, clicking on an object with the Shift button down which is not the active object, will not deselect it, but rather make it the active object. So for example here, the cube is selected, but it's not the active object. So if I hold down Shift and click on it one more time, it will become the active object. And if I want to deselect it, I just have to click it one more time. Selecting and deselecting all. Sometimes you may wish to select or deselect all the objects. It's easy to do. If you want to select all the objects, just hover your mouse over the 3D viewport and hit A on your keyboard. This will select all the objects. To deselect all in the 3D viewport, hover your mouse over the 3D viewport and hit Alt plus A. This will deselect all. An even faster way to deselect all, let me select all one more time to demonstrate it. So an even faster way to deselect all is to click anywhere outside the objects in the viewport as you already saw. There are other ways of selecting objects like for example the circle select tool or the box select tool, but we'll be talking about them when we need them. And now let's see how to add and delete objects in Blender. Now, if you want to add an object, you can do it from the Add menu or using the Shift plus A shortcut. Here's what the menu looks like. We're going to be working on meshes, first of all, plane, cube, circle, UV sphere, and so on. Now, and here's what you can see if you hit Shift plus A, the same menu. If you use the shortcut, the menu will open at the location of the mouse cursor. Have a look. Here is the mouse cursor, Shift plus A. Now here is the mouse cursor, Shift plus A. Good. As you can see, there is a long list of objects you can add. But before we start adding objects, let's think for a while about where the objects will be added. And this brings us to the 3D cursor. Probably you've noticed the so-called 3D cursor already. This is the widget that currently is at the word origin, so at the coordinates 0, 0, 0. This is it over here. 
The cursor determines the location where an object will be added. So let's add another primitive shape that we get out of the box, the UV sphere. So shift, so hit shift A, select mesh, and then UV sphere. The new shape has been added at the location of the 3D cursor, but you can only see its outline. You can see the outline because when we add an object, it becomes the active object, so it differs in color. Now the sphere is inside the cube. Let's delete the cube to see the sphere. To delete an object, you must first select it, so let's select the cube. And now hit X and then delete. So now you can see the UV sphere. Now, what if you want to add a shape at a different location? Well, you just have to place the 3D cursor at that location first. So let's move the cursor near the top right corner somewhere here. And we can do it by holding down the Shift key and right-clicking at the new location. So Shift down, right-click. Good. We can also do it by selecting cursor in the toolbar here and then left-clicking at the new location, like here. In the latter case, don't forget to select this one over here, select box, after you position the 3D cursor in order to be able to select objects. If you now create a new object, it will be added at the new location. Let's add a cone. Shift A, Mesh, Cone. Now, deleting objects. You already know how to delete a single object. Deleting multiple objects at once is pretty simple. You just have to select the objects you want to delete first and then hit X and delete. So let's add some shapes first and then remove some of them. You can hold down the Shift key and right-click somewhere in the 3D viewport to move the 3D cursor to that location and then add a shape. So let's add a torus here. Shift, right click, Shift A, Mesh, Torus. Now let's add a cylinder somewhere here. So Shift, right click, Shift A, Mesh, Cylinder. And let's add an icosphere somewhere here. So Shift, right click, Shift A, Mesh, icosphere. Now to delete the UV sphere, the cone and the cylinder, so these three objects, I just have to select the three shapes first. So cone, hold down shift, UV sphere and cylinder. And then hit X and delete. Now the selected objects are gone. This is pretty much it as far as adding and deleting objects is concerned. And now let's see how to pan, orbit and zoom in the 3D viewport. We often want to view the objects from a different angle or distance. So let's add some objects first. Like for example here, so shift plus right click, shift A, let's add a monkey. It's a pretty fine shape which is pretty convenient for testing stuff. And let's add a plane over here. Shift right click, Shift A, Mesh Plane. So this is our scene. Let's talk about panning first. You can easily pan horizontally or vertically over the objects in your scene by holding down the Shift key and dragging the mouse over the screen with the middle mouse button pressed. So hold down Shift, Press the middle mouse button and drag, like that. Orbiting. Orbiting is easy too. You orbit around the objects in the scene to view them from different angles. To do that, just hold down the middle mouse button and drag the mouse over the screen. So just the middle mouse button pressed. Finally, zooming. 
You can zoom in or out if you want to view an object from a different distance. You can use the mouse wheel to do that. So if you scroll your mouse, the zooming effect works, but it's pretty choppy. If you want it to be smoother and more precise, you can hold down the control key and drag the mouse with the middle mouse button pressed in one direction or the other. So let's press control and now let's press the middle mouse button and drag. Now we're zooming in and out and it works smoothly. In the next part of this series, we'll be talking about transformations in Blender. Also, feel free to check out my awesome Blender YouTube channel, which is completely dedicated to Blender. Ok, that's it for this video. If you like it, a thumbs up would be great. Also, make sure to subscribe for future videos. If you want to leave a comment or ask a question, you're welcome to do so. Thanks for watching.